Hey guys, today I'm filming the next update to The Power of Pan, which is based off the TV show series Charm. This was created by Nikki Pearson and is part of the Fantastic Ladies group on Facebook. I will have the group and the spreadsheet with all of the prompts and Nikki down below. So this is a 12 month project. There are a little bit over 20 prompts. So last update was huge. I will have it linked for you. I rolled in 10 products. So I was working on 12 items. I only had two prompts left and I told you guys I wanted to wait until I came up with a specific product. Well, I have done that. So I will be adding those in and I will be working on 14 different prompts at the same time. I know other girls do this, but it's a little bit nuts for me. So first I'll get out of the way some things that I have not used yet. For the prompt Dan, a product that you should love, but don't. I have the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. I made some progress on this earlier in the project, but I told you guys I was going to be putting this on hold until spring because I am working on some other primers and that is still the case. So you should see some progress in a few updates. Then for the prompt Prue, something you want to move out of your collection. I chose this little deluxe sample of the NARS Light Reflecting Powder. I will work on this, but I have a lot of powders I'm working on right now. For Leo or White Lighter, you were to choose a glowy product. I chose both of my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners, and I wanted to use these three times each. The copper is Starfire, and then we have the classic Midnight Cowboy. I have not used these yet. For the Shax Demon, that is a product that gets a second chance. I chose the KVD Dazzle Stick and Electro Bolt. I wanted to use this one three times. I haven't used it yet. This is more of a summer fall shade for me. Then for the last product I have not used yet, that would be for Triad, something with a triangular shape. And I chose this Buxom lip liner deluxe sample in hush hush henna i want to use this 10 times or finish it whatever comes first again more of a fall shade for me so i've made progress in about half of the items for piper an anti-aging product i chose this travel size of the estee lauder advanced night repair serum but this is something that i'm only going to be using when I'm traveling. So I'm really just tracking the uses and the weights. I used it just one time since last update. It went from 0.639 ounces to 0.627. Next for Phoebe, a product you predict you will love using. I chose this Hourglass ambient lighting holiday palette. I wanted to use each product five times. I have not used the Infinity Powder or the Vibrant Heat Blush, but I use the bronzer two times, the Luminous Rose Blush four times, and the Supernatural Strobe Light Highlighter four times. So we need to use these one more time, two times, five times, five times. Next for the Prompt Billy, a new purchase, I chose the Pat McGrath Starstruck Splendor Holiday Palette. I wanted to use each blush three times and I wanted to no pan left behind the palette. So, so far I have used this top blush Nymphette twice. I'm wearing it today, but I have used eyeshadow number two and four one time. So number two is Dawn Divinity and number four is Forever Nude. So that's exciting and they worked so well. Next for Grams and Oldest Product, I picked my Oldest Press Powder, which is Rebel Stay Matte. I'll have a picture on the screen to show comparisons and I did weigh it. Last update, it was 1.323 ounces today, 1.297. I'm using this every day to set my oily areas and sometimes to touch up when I'm working from home. Super excited for this next one. It is for the Prompt Barbus, something you're afraid to pan. I had chosen this Westman Atelier Cream Cheek blister pack and that's because it had been hanging around for forever and I just wasn't sure how I was going to use these samples. So I have started working on the cream contour biscuit. I posted an Instagram video but I did decide to scrape the product and put it into this little face pan and I've got it in a Z palette here. So it goes in my everyday makeup basket and I'm using this as my cream contour underneath my foundation. I'm doing a little bit over top but not too much because this is pretty cool tone on me but it looks 
a little bit messy but I'm hoping that this will be done by next update and then I will pick either the blush or highlight to work on next so really excited that I chose to do this because it's going to help me get more use out of these and to start working on them sooner. Next we have Andy a product that is gone too soon. I chose my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Mini in Rose Gold and when I rolled in it was flush with the packaging so I scooped all the product out into a sample jar. I will have a comparison picture up on the screen but not too much left but I am balancing this with using more of a pink tone shadow stick as well just depending on my eyeshadow I am wearing this one today so this one might take another month or maybe two months just depending on my eye looks and lastly we had a Braxis a duplicate product I chose the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in the color one in light neutral because I had a backup of this and I was marking it and weighing it I forgot to mark it before this video but I will point to it and then mark it but the weights went from 0.546 ounces to 0.524 unfortunately I have had more acne recently so I have been using this more so you can see the line of where I was and where my nail is is where I'm down to now so maybe by next update I'll be able to pull the stopper out but this might be here a few more months just depending on what's going on with my acne and I do use this on my cheeks sometimes for extra coverage so now I'm going to show you what I chose for the two prompts I had left for Nexus a neutral shadow or lipstick I chose this Vesca Moonlit Dream Cream Shadow in Karina this is in my chopping block I would like to use this three times this is also a summer fall shade for me so I probably won't use it for a bit and this is gonna be the most challenging thing for Gideon a product you need to learn to use self tanner I've been telling you guys for ages that I need to use this and I want to use each of these one time and then I'll give you my thoughts on the product I probably won't do this till summer this one I don't know about the color of it I've had some of these for a while so if anything is off I'll let you know that as well so we've got the Isle of Paradise body high glow self tan serum I'm really mad at myself I didn't try this one earlier because the consistency looks amazing all of these I got for free in some way though then we've got Vita Liberata self tanning gradual lotion which should be pretty easy to use then the Vita Liberata tanning mist in medium and the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze self tanning water mist for face but I would love to hear your all's tips down below on how you use your self tanner should i shave and exfoliate the same day that i use this or the day before do you do lotion before self tan do you mix the self tan in with the lotion i would imagine you need to use lotion afterwards or do you wait no you'd wait until after you wash it off i see help i know there might be different instructions for different products but also face I don't spray this right on my face, right? Like that sounds like a recipe for disaster. I don't know, please <laughs> let me know your thoughts. I need some help, but I feel like this is gonna be the best way to make myself do it because the shame of telling you guys I still haven't done it in each of my inventory updates is not helpful enough. But guys, I'm so excited about this project and the fact that I have been able to work on a lot of neglected products. This is so fun. Nikki did such an amazing job coming up with all of these prompts. But I would love to know if you guys are participating in this project. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the items that I've chosen. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.